Hello guys, I uh, just thought I'd put on um, a video about the uh, flight tracker that I actually use. I've had a lot of people asking me on all the posts I put on what, what tracker do you use, what tracker do you use. And especially with the uh, video of the typhoon, the typhoon's coming over the site. And the, <coughs> the, the tracker I use is called ADSB Exchange. Now they have an app. There it is. It's available on Play Store. I'm not sure if it's available on Apple or not. Uh, or you can go on to the website, which is uh, adsbexchange.com. And what it basically is, I personally, I think it's the best free tracker out there. You've got Flight 20, Radar 24, but this is a lot better. So what we'll do, I'll just give you a bit of a run through, some of the basic features of it. I won't go through all of it because it's quite long-winded. You can have a play of it yourself. But the, well, this is what I tend to use. So, if we go over, let's press the icon, there we go, press that, and you'll see it opens up a map, map of the UK, and there's loads of planes on there, <clears throat> obviously far too many to even track them properly. So, what we need to do is filter, start filtering out. So, the way to do that is, first of all, obviously I want to see military planes. So, see the U on the right hand side there at the top, you just touch that U, and that filters out all military planes. Sorry, not filters them out, filters them in. It filters out all the other planes. So as you can see, you've got about 20 planes, 25 planes floating about. And uh, when I'm on the Mac loop, I'm watching this all the time. Now Lake and Eve, and Coningsby, they're all around here. So what I tend to do is look, keep it open like that. And then I'll see what's flying about the UK. And you do get to know, you've also got Bryce Norton, which is obviously down this area as well. So I keep my eye on all them and looking out for planes, etc. Now to give you an example, when you see some planes coming over, for example, let's, let's look at that plane that's just below St. Saint a Saint there in Wales. Now that's probably come from Anglesey. Oops. Being awkward, just disappears as I put it on. That's uh, sod's law. So, it must have gone low. This will explain that later, later actually. Um, let's say these three planes here. So, I click on the bottom one there. And as you can see, an arc comes up. Now, that arc's probably come from RAF Valley in Anglesey. Yeah, it has. Because what do you do? You get a trail and it shows you its flight path. Now, if you scroll down from the, the arc, the photograph, it then tells you the altitude of the plane, which is 13,700 feet. And just below that, it tells you if it's increasing in height or decreasing in height. So you get a feel for what it's actually doing. You can see that it's coming down at around about 1,000 feet a minute. Now, it's obviously in the middle of the sea there, so that's not really going to be of interest to us around the Mac loop. But it's just an example. Now... What you can also do, once you've found a plane, so I've like highlighted that plane, you can go across and you can see the eye on the right hand side. If you press that eye, it isolates just that one plane. So you can actually just track one plane and keep your eye on it so you don't miss it. Now, let's put it back. Now, what I also do, if you click on M, and that's, there's three there, so I'll click on that one, then I'll click on that one. So I've clicked on three, it looks like they're all arcs then. Let's go down, arc, 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 yeah, they're all arcs. So once I've highlighted three, because I've clicked the M, I keep the M clicked, and then I can click the I, and then it'll just isolate those three. So let's go multiple, there you go, they're all back again. So you can click on, so, sorry, so I've got all three there. And then I can click on whichever one I want. And then if I want to isolate one individually, then I just press the I as well. Okay, so that's what M does. M means you can just choose which which planes you want to isolate. Um, <clears throat> so let's say, come down here again, and I want to press helicopter. Press the M. Press the I. So now it's isolated the helicopter, which has come again, come from Area Valley over to our Shrewsbury Way. Now, what this is really, let's just get rid of them M's and I's. What is, this is really useful for, for me, 
and I did something else I do use a lot because obviously I don't want to be looking at planes that are flying at 10,000 feet. Just get rid of that. What you can do, see the arrow on the right hand side? You can press that and then drag across. And then you've got filters and you can filter by altitude. So what I tend to do is put in there, put in a zero. Not feet to, I'll say that north, not feet, let's say. One hundred to one thousand feet. Yeah, and then press filter. And if you notice, their marks have disappeared now. Let's drag that back across. But what that's doing now, that makes it a lot easier for me to track low flying planes. And if you've got planes coming over from Lake and Eve or from Coningsby. They're not showing up until they start dropping down. So I can filter the art whenever I like. And it stays over there on the right hand side. So I can just press it again. Delete the thousand. Put in say 2000. And then I press filter. Then another couple of planes turn up. So they're the only low flying planes at the moment. Now the beauty of this as well is. A lot of planes don't show up in here. When they start going down below 300 feet for example. So if I'm tracking a Typhoon or an F-15 over from Lake and Eve, and it's on this and it's on this ADSB flight tracker, and then it disappears and it comes over to Wales over here, the Maclu, there you go, there, around about there, there it is, the A487, A48, there it is, Chorus, that's where I'm normally based. When they come nearer to there and they drop down, if they then disappear, then you know they're probably in the loop. So I'll keep my eye out for planes coming across and then suddenly disappearing. And that's just one tip when you're on here watching uh, watching the planes, just so you don't get caught out. You get a feel for it. Um, so basically that's it. Now it's pretty, it's a pretty quiet. Let me just um, unfilter this. Let's just get this, cleared all these filters. go yeah so we're back there we're back again so again you've got a couple of texans there in north wales again they're from ref uh, valley in anglesey now if you look where that's been that did actually go to, near to the loop but it doesn't look like it went through so yeah so that's what i use i use the adsb exchange by all means though you can send me a dm if you have a play around with this and if and if you've got any questions or you're not sure on something i may be possibly be able to help you and i'll by all means i'll try and answer any questions that you might have but uh i'm back in the loop from i'm hoping to go down on monday for a couple of days so if i do i can uh, hopefully get some uh some videos uploaded for you so for now just have a play around with that and uh, thanks again for watching sharing and joining the, the page i really appreciate it and it's um bye from me for now